So what does delight look like in France for you? <laughs> It's always food, of course. It's food. Okay. <laughs> I'm asking because delight is like one of my words. I love the word delight. And as you may know, and I've shared this on the show before, sorry for those who are hearing me say this again, but in English, you've got the word delight, which in France, it, French is delice. But delice mm -hmm. also means delicious. Delicious. So delight, yes. something that's delightful and something that's delicious in French, we don't know the difference, which is exactly your answer was so typically French to say food <laughs> because, you know, <laughs> something that's delightful has got to be delicious and vice versa. So tell us about yes. French food and how that brought you delight. It brought me so much delight. And it also added to my repertoire. I love to cook. And so having, um, being able to be curious about French cuisine and asking questions. And of course, Southern France is a different kind of cuisine than Northern France. It's less sauce-based and much more Mediterranean influence. But um, I knew I had arrived when I had, I had, I was making bread, which I shouldn't do as an American, you know, in the land of bread. And I got complimented by my French friends. And I thought, okay, <laughs> I've, I've arrived, you arrived. But, uh, but I think just that idea of not simply food, but culture and art and rest. Oh, I love that the French know how to enjoy life. You know, the, that just that mm, grasping of it and uh, the joie de vivre, you know, just this idea of savoring Uh, those moments that we have lost in the U.S. And I still, honestly, just to be super honest, I am struggling to get it back because we don't have the margin that we had in France. And there's not a culture of rest. There's a culture of never resting. Mm. I so relate to you. I think actually for me, one of the hardest things since we've been in the States for almost 10 years now has been that has been to, I've lost Um, I've forgotten how to rest and, mm -hmm. and to remember it, even though it is maybe literally in my DNA, it's, it's hard. It is so mm -hmm. very much against the culture we live in. Um, what did you, maybe, maybe on that or anything else, uh, what did you discover about God in France or maybe when you came back as you were reflecting on your French experience? I'm so glad that God is not an American. <laughs> I learned that, you know, I mean, I knew it. But my iteration of Christianity, you know, when I met Christ, all of that was within an American context. And although I had been overseas in different places and have been since, and I know that instinctively, there's something that happens when you live in another culture that causes you to remember that worship songs are not all in English. And, um, and just every year I go back to Switzerland and in the French speaking part of Switzerland, Geneva. And I get to experience that again. And that's, I'm kind of addicted to it because I get to just be a part of a different perspective on the world. And I love having these multifaceted conversations. 